Hey, Jared here from Sound Guitar Lessons. In this video, I wanna talk about warming up and not just getting warmed up, but getting super warmed up. In my last video, I had a special guest on, Dr. Abby Halpin, the doctor of physical therapy that I worked with when I had an injury uh, to my left arm from playing guitar and needed to go through a recovery process. And I had her on the channel to give some advice to guitarists that are curious about how to work through injuries, pain, discomfort from playing the guitar. So check that video out if you haven't already. I'll put a link right up around there somewhere. Check that out. So this is kind of a follow-up because in that video I mentioned that twice in my career I've had arm injuries from playing guitar. Um, tendonitis in my left arm that rendered me unable to play and when I tried to play it would cause pain, uh, really bad pain. And so I had to go through quite an extensive recovery process both times. So I wanted to elaborate a little further on what I'm doing now to be very, very, very careful about uh, not letting that happen again and being able to play sustainably. Super important disclaimer here. I am not advising that you do anything from this video. These are not, this is not about what you should do or try. This is not medical advice. This is just purely me sharing. This is what I'm doing. This is what works for me. So if anything, I want to share kind of how methodical we want to be, how careful, how slow we want to be about finding what works for us. So again, I'm not saying you do these things. This is just me saying what I'm doing. Um, and I devise this slowly, intentionally, carefully getting advice from Abby and other professionals and physical therapists and naturopaths and acupuncture. I, I tried everything and I slowly worked out a routine for myself that I call the triple warm-up routine that now is allowing me to play sustainably as much as I want. And I'm grateful for that and that's why I wanted to share it with you. So both times that I experienced this uh, challenge as a guitarist, were times that I wasn't able to stop playing. Um, the first time I was in music school, studying classical guitar, studying jazz guitar, this was my full-time thing I was supposed to be doing as a student, practicing, showing up for rehearsals, uh, going to my lessons, and I couldn't not play. I tried to take a break, scale it back as much as I could, work on other musicianship stuff. Um, there's plenty to do. I was doing ear training, some piano, um, singing practice, study up on that music history homework stuff like that but I couldn't not play all together the second time this happened to me same deal uh, fast forward 13 years or so and I am teaching a ton playing gigs needing to record things for people um, really needing to play pretty much almost every day uh, for my job and for you know showing up for things that I've committed to so again I couldn't just totally stop playing that being said, it certainly seems like a good thing to do to take as much of a break as possible. So I tried to scale it back as much as I could. But what I found that was really interesting was that I actually, the more of a more of a break I took, if I could take a few days off, um, it didn't actually feel like it made my arm better. Like I feel like the arm flared up. And when I played a kind of minimum consistent amount, when I went back to just make sure I was still moving and using the instrument a little bit, um, it felt much better on my arm. This is actually one of the things that Abby mentioned in the video last week as well, that she said, yeah, if you can play whatever minimum amount regularly every day, she said 20 minutes a day if you can, or whatever you can manage to do without it getting worse is actually a good thing. Because then when, when you get back to uh, playing again, you don't want to overdo it or have your body not be used to making those movements that they've been doing. So I've always been big on warming up. I've put some videos out about warm warm ups and uh, certainly technique exercises and stuff like that and how important warming up is, especially because of my experiences from having injuries and warming up has been a big part of uh, making sure that I'm playing in a healthy way. But what I started to realize was when I show up to do warm up exercises on the guitar, it still felt like I was starting to play the guitar while cold like I wasn't warmed up for the warm-up and warm-ups are important because we're kind of be the point is to be careful to be slow do a very controlled specific uh, movement so that's great and I really relied on that for my recovery process for both of those um, injuries and now just forever 
injury or not, it's like the, the prevention method is to be warming up. However, again, I was, I was noticing that it felt like I was not warmed up enough to start warming up. So I kind of thought about solutions for that a little bit and arrived at warming up in order to warm up. Back in school, I remember one of my classical guitar professors, um, I would have lessons at 9 a.m. It were in the basement of the music building and I would show up in like the fall quarter and, uh, you know, hands are cold and stiff. And if you've ever tried to play, especially classical guitar, when your hands are cold and stiff, um, it is not going to go so well. And he would have me, uh, you know, I'd start playing like, oh, it's, you know, so early and, and my hands are cold and, and nothing's kind of working out. He's like, go to the bathroom, run your hands under warm water for a while, get warmed up that way, come back and let's kind of get going again. And I remembered that and um, I realized, oh, if I start playing guitar when my when my body is physically cold, when my arm, my hands are physically cold, and my joints feel stiff and that kind of thing. Um, you know, yes, I could start with a careful warm up, but why not get a little actually physically warm in the first place? So now this is the first phase I do in my triple warm up routine. I will physically warm myself up if it's actually cold in my apartment. I'll turn the heat on a little bit, even if I don't need to not feeling that cold, but I want to make sure that I am a little bit more warmed up, but I'll run my arm under warm water or I'll use a heat pad. I have a heat pad that I can uh, heat up in a microwave that just has rice and flax seed in it. And it it's this, um, in fact, I'll show you. So here's my heat pad. I can heat this up in the microwave just for about a minute or a minute and a half and then put it on my arm and I'll hold it there for as long as I want to get get that nice warmed up. It's kind of nice actually, because I'll let it sit there and then I'll do right hand uh, exercises, warm up my right hand, uh, some kind of right hand pattern. I've put out videos on right hand too. I'll put a link up there for that one. Uh, precision of right hand uh, finger style guitar. So I get a lot of leverage out of that. Um, and then, or just a hot water bottle is great too. I've used that as well. Just fill up a hot water bottle with hot warm water and hold that there. So that's phase one of the triple warm up is like literally physically warming up. Oh, and I'll also make sure I'm wearing long sleeves and not a t-shirt um, if I feel like it, the environment is chilly at all. So I know this is really picky, but it's working for me and I'm excited about um, how much of a difference that tends to make. So that is phase one out of the triple warm up. Phase two in the triple warm up is doing stretches um, and some physical activity with my fingers, my hands, my arms. So I'll walk through exactly the stretches and movements I do. Again, this is not saying do these, these are just what I'm doing. And I very carefully selected them over time, getting professional assistance and guidance. So uh, first one is just this, where just making this palms together motion and kind of pulling it down a little bit. And then I'll put it forward super gentle. I used to do um, stretches that were really extreme and, and I'm quite sure they made my arm worse because I was so aggressively trying to stretch them. Um, so that's that. And then I'll also gently put it to the side on both sides. And I really feel that here. So I don't want to do it too much. So that's one of the things that I do. Feels really good. The next one is this motion. I don't have official names for these. Um, most of them I did learn from, they have official names, but I'm not the uh, professional physical therapist. So I'm just kind of <laughs> doing them. This one is really, I'm being very careful because I feel it. If I go like this with my neck and then stretch this this way, I'm really feeling that here. So just super gently. This is the kind of thing I would do way too aggressively in the past. And I'm quite sure it delayed my recovery from being too aggressive. So I'm just being super gentle. Again, I'm trying to warm up, trying to get blood flowing, just trying to wake up the arm. So when I actually do my warm up exercises and start playing the guitar, it's not actually starting cold. So the next one is really common and, and popular and Abby mentioned this one as well. And this is another one that I would just go, I have double joints and kind of hyper extension. So if I wanted to, I could pull, I can show you a little bit with this arm. I can kind of pull this way back and I was doing that way too much. So I barely do it at all now. I mean, I just am like, okay, little, little kind of gentle massage version on both of those. So that's what I do there. And then I do, and this is not always in the same order, but I do this thing. And again, I don't know the official name for it, but um, I believe 
I learned this from an acupuncturist that I benefited a lot from. He showed me a lot of exercises and, and I got treatment from him. Uh, but he called it joint articulation or passive joint articulation or something like that, where I'm taking this arm and I'm, I'm taking this hand and moving this wrist with it. So passively, not this is just floppy. And then I'm just kind of rotating that, kind of giving it some, some motion. So this passive joint articulation, I'll do that with each of my fingers. As silly as it seems, you know, I can feel like, what is this doing? But it's kind of creating the tolerance for movement just by moving it around without forcing it. So that's just kind of relaxing and I like that. So I'll do a little bit of the other wrist as well and do that. And then maybe these and my thumb, the other hand, my left arm is the one that I need to focus on, but I tend to do everything on both hands. And then I'll massage everything, what a little or a lot sometimes, you know, fingers, hand between the thumb and fingers there, uh, the forearm, all the way up the arm, the shoulder, just doing some kind of self massage. I like to do this where I take my knuckle under the arm, massage there, get the top of it, all that stuff, get it nice and loose. So this next one is my favorite. I don't do this first. I usually wait for a little bit in the process because it feels like it's a bit more of a workout. I just call it the finger dance move um, and you'll see why in a second. So I'll take the hands like this and then the pinkies will come in together. The next finger, the next finger, the next finger, the thumb, and then back out. Pinky, next finger, middle finger, first finger. And then I just rotate it around that way and I do it kind of, kind of fast sometimes. And you see how it's kind of our, it's like a rave dance move ish and I'll rotate a little bit the wrist that way. I feel like I'm David Bowie in the labyrinth or something. So I really like this one. I feel it again. It feels a little more like a workout. And again, don't just start doing this, especially you know, don't just start doing this aggressively. I'm only showing you what I do and what's working for me. Okay, that's that one. There's a bunch of these, so this seems like a lot, but I kind of just loosely rotate through them and kind of, it's not that big of a deal when I'm actually going through them. So just three more. Um, I swing my arm. I learned this from the acupuncture, uh, naturopath, physical therapist as well. And, you know, supposedly it brings some blood flowing into the arm. I do this while I walk a lot too. I really love this one. I found it helpful. It's very comforting, you know, swinging my arm. You know, I'll do it while I'm standing up and really kind of swing it. And then I'll also do this kind of hitting gently my arm, this percussion on the arm and the shoulder. That feels quite good as well. Very soft. And then lastly, I'll just shake it out. That feels quite good too. Shake out the shoulders, you know, standing up and kind of jumping around a little bit with that, really getting warmed up. And I'll jump around a little too, make sure that I physically am, am moving, getting some blood flowing, crack a tiny sweat even if it's kind of warm enough for that. And then I feel like, okay, good. I, I can actually pick up the guitar now. And I know it seems really picky, but better safe than sorry. I mean, not being able to play from pain is, it's one of those moments of like, please, I'll do anything if you can fix this so I can play again. And so, hey, whatever works. So, you know, even if it's some part superstition and some of it is working and some of it's not, this is what I'm doing and I'm happy with it. So, uh, so, uh, once I'm really feeling like physically warmed up, like that blood is flowing, the joints are, are moving, uh, then I'll pick up the guitar. And again, it seems like a lot, it does feel like a, a barrier sometimes like, Oh, I got to do all that stuff. And I'm just, I'm so inspired to play, but again, totally worth it. And it's not that long. Like I could do that all in five minutes. Um, if I want to, could take longer if I want, could even take less time if I want. It's still just this ritual that I do. As for the guitar warmups themselves, this is kind of always rotating and evolving. There's so many technique exercises and warmups that I love. Uh, right now, there are two that I always do. And after those two, I feel good about going and working on and playing whatever else. Um, one of them is a series of just one, two, three, four, finger, one, two, three, four, fret, one, two, three, four, up every string. Um, and I'll do a video on this separately another time because what I really like about it is doing all the finger combinations. So it's not only one, two, three, four, you actually end up doing every possible com combination of those fingers. So I do a series that is that warm up, and I will do a video on that in the future that breaks that down. The second warm up that I do after that is a triplet slurring exercise warm up. And I did do a video on this, like breaking it down in detail. So I'm not going to 
go through it here, but instead check the link below, another link up here. For that, it's called the one warm up to do when practice time is limited and how other guitarists uh, and classical guitarists agree that if you only have time for one warm up, this one is really good. It's where we're taking, doing slurs, ascending and descending hammer-ons and pull-offs with each finger combination. On every string and actually I do it like this with every finger combination so that video the video and I have tab for that and everything in that other video so check that out if you want to and that is my triple warm-up so it's kind of funny I have to warm up to warm up but warming up on the actual guitar is the third thing that I do um, and it's feeling really good my advice to you if you're concerned about preventing injury recovering from etc again is to seek out professional help for that and don't just take what i'm saying and do that i'm just sharing my process what's working for me what i do advise is just the intentionality being careful take it slow this took me a long time to kind of arrive at this so i'm happy to share uh, but just be careful and be safe that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a lesson, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.